Today I was supposed to be shooting film, today I was supposed to be shooting my Veronica, uh, but on my way here, on my way to my destination, I came across this beautiful scene. I, I had to stop the car, I took the Veronica out, and just to find out that I had, or it had run out of batteries. And it's funny, I can only say that uh, it's funny, because I've had the spare batteries in my backpack forever, and I never, ever needed them. I never had to change batteries in the field before but of course if that was going to happen it was going to happen a day like today where i don't have spare batteries the good thing or the good news is that uh, uh last minute i decided to bring my digital camera with me so i was still able to make that that image i hope it turned out good but yeah so i'm here at the seal river canyon or gorge this is a beautiful place uh, i've been here a couple times before i've shown you this place uh, in previous videos, but uh, this is a new spot for me. I, I had never been here before. Uh, it's just another amazing view of an amazing place. Today is a rather boring day, as you can see. There are no low-hanging clouds or fog or anything like that. We do have reflections, though. The river is very calm here. There is a dam right there, so that's, that's why. Uh, and I've been using my telephoto lens to capture those reflections and close-ups of the shore and the dam itself. And some of those images might work. We will see. Uh, now I'm gonna play a little video showing you the images that I've made so far and uh, a little bit of footage of uh, how I got here because as I said, it's, uh, this place is beautiful. Man, this one is the best view of this river I've seen so far but right now is the grown time I have the sun in front of me so yeah I can't really make any images right now but this is a, a location I will be revisiting in the future for sure okay I'm heading down now I'm gonna try to go to another location but let's talk about photography uh, a little bit somehow I managed to mess up the audio in the video and I was not explaining myself really well anyway so I'm here just trying another take what I wanted to say is that, as I said at the beginning of the video, I was supposed to be shooting the Bronica uh, in this video, but I ended up shooting digital because I didn't have batteries for the Bronica. And at the end, I think that the video is not as compelling as uh, it would have been if I was shooting the Bronica. In general, I feel like I like more... I think that the videos uh, where I shoot with the Bronica are better than the ones where I shoot digital. And I think it's because they tell a little bit more of a story. Uh, you see, film is more challenging than digital in many ways. And that, I believe, it helps uh, creating the uh, story behind the images. I believe that sometimes the story behind the images is as important, if not more important, than the image itself. Uh, take, for example, Ansel Adams. He knew very well about this. One of his most famous images is uh, Moon over Hernandez. And that's a great image by itself. Don't get me wrong, for sure. But the story that he used to tell, how how he told the driver to stop in the car after seeing the that scene from the car and how they had to rush the whole setup of the camera because the whole system that he was using at that time, it was like 
cumbersome. Uh, he, I believe that he only had two sheets of film and he didn't have a light meter at the time, so he had to improvise. And all the, the things that he had to uh, to go through to get that image, I think that it, that creates a, a whole story behind that image that makes it uh, even better, even more compelling, or you perceive it as a viewer in a different way. Uh, a different way than if Ansel Adams had a Canon 5D Mark IV and he was driving, he stopped the car, got out of the car, just put the camera to his eye and shot the image because you know the Canon would have a light meter, you have a memory card, you can shoot it a hundred times until you get the right light and whatever. The story wouldn't have been the same. And I believe that the, the way he shot that image uh, it contributes to make it better. Uh, and I said that he knew that very well because that story changed over time and it got more and more dramatic. So he was aware of that, that it's not just the image, but also the story behind the image that can make it a little bit better or you can look at it in a different way. I've experienced this too. When I'm showing my work in an exhibition, people have come to me to ask about the image, uh, the story behind it. They want to know how cold it was, how hot, how I took it, if I used film or if I used digital, and how, how the whole image uh, was made. Uh, because people love stories, humans love stories, and uh, having one, an interesting one behind the image, I think that uh, it, only, it can only help the photograph itself. So yeah, shooting film is not gonna make your image any better, but it will or it might give you a story to go with those images, making them better that way. Of course, this is just my opinion, but I would love to hear what you think. But for now, back to the video. And now I'm just gonna go down there to where those boats are. Hope you can see them. I know if that's open to the public now. I, I really doubt it, but if it is, I might be able to, to make some long exposures from down there. So let's try. Okay, so I'm trying this composition here. It's gonna be a 30 second long exposure. That should be enough to smooth out all the water. And I don't know, it might work. Uh, I'm taking this uh, line on the ground that the water is making, and I'm gonna have the, the mountains, the cliffs of the canyon in the background. So I don't know, hopefully that works. All right. I'm not focus stacking or anything like that. This uh, wide angle lens at f11 should have most of it in focus anyway. And I don't mind, I'm actually looking for something of the immediate foreground out of focus. I said this uh, many times already, but I like to do that, to have something out of focus in the foreground. So it kind of leads you to the actual, uh, you know, image. I, I like that. Oh man, that looks beautiful. I like it, I like it a lot. So I'm gonna take another shot just to make sure that I got it. You might remember my video from Arcachon Bay in France and I wished I had boots to get in the water. Well, I got them and I'm gonna try them here just for the sake of it. I don't know if there is an image there, but I really, really wanna try them. Okay, I'm ready. Very nice. I'm mostly dry. You might have noticed the new lens and the new tripod, and of course the boots. Yes, yeah, Santa was very generous this year. I will be talking about this in a different video. Now I have to go because I'm late for lunch already. Uh, thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.